people, they don't just come for food uh, in, my, uh, in my stand. Uh, sometimes they text me to say happy birthday. Before I come here, I go pick up my bread from the uh, bread factory. And uh, after that, uh, I come here and uh, I set up my stand. As soon as I finish setting up, uh, I'm, uh, I'm busy. <laughs> Nine years ago, I, uh, I was filling for a friend at York University. Uh, after that, seven years ago, uh, I opened my own, and uh, I'm still here. I try to make them, the relationship between us to make it personal. Uh, as soon as they come, they don't even have to say wh what they want. Uh, they, I just tell them, okay, you want, you want a hot dog? Uh, okay, I'll get you your two chicken. And uh, they feel very happy because I know what they want and uh, they're not the only one studying, I'm studying my customers too. <laughs> We're both Arabs so I feel like there's this sort of connection that I have with him and he, uh, we speak together in Arabic and he keeps me updated on his, uh, uh, on his life. Once I came up to his hot dog stand and he usually posts this joke of the day to like uh, stir uh, communication. I managed to answer the joke and I asked him if we could get a discount and he was like, yeah, sure, why not? In Toronto, hot dog stand used to be like just uh, an umbrella and a few things, but uh, I like to make it uh, more interesting uh, by letting them text their order by bringing a debit machine. Not every, but every time, you know, you have cash, so they don't have uh, any reason not to come to my stand. It's just been the last few years, I don't know, three or four years, that I've really got accustomed to coming, visiting with him. and. As, as good as his food is, I, I kind of come back because we're now friends. He's a real inspiration and it's, it's so sweet. The only time he's not here is when he's busy praying for the world. How do you like that? That's an everyday hero. He puts his sign up, gone for praying for five minutes. I mean, that's cool. 